if this song mm -hmm. continues to succeed the way it is, because I have access to it, I'm getting money too. Yeah. I'm not spending money just to spend money. Like this is an investment that is reoccurring. I'm getting mailbox money. Uh, let's get into this episode. So, uh, first topic, of course, Queen's own Nas finally drops his NFT, right? But this one is a little bit different. So it was supposed to come out the 11th. It like completely broke the site. It mm. completely broke it, right? So it came out January 20th and sold out in seconds. I tried it. Uh, Isaiah tried it. No luck. I was so sad. And so with this one, he put up two songs, uh, Ultra Black and Rare, and was actually giving 50% up of the rights to these particular songs, right? Which is really interesting because normally you just sell the art, maybe give them something physical or some access and things like that. But this is literally saying, uh, hey, you're going to get money back when you purchase this, which is dope because now it allows the community feel like, yo, we're in this together. If this song mm -hmm. continues to succeed the way it is, because I have access to it, I'm getting money too. Yeah. I'm not spending money just to spend money. Like this is an investment that is reoccurring. I'm getting mailbox money. Like mm -hmm. that's very interesting. I, I wanted definitely your take on it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's phenomenal. When you think about what Nas has represented in the community and how his career has matured over time, mm -hmm. I think this is a move that it's, it's clearly him giving back in a way but it's it's given back in a way that shows people what's possible, right? Mm -hmm. Because now you're giving people, you're giving back, but you're giving back and you're saying, hey, actually, I want you to see that there is a way to invest your money where you can earn additional revenue or additional income over time, right? It's 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 a it's a positive cash flow investment almost because you're talking about royalties from two songs that who knows? I mean, he's still dropping music and people are still going back to the catalog. So that is super unique. I mm -hmm. mean, it's really, really cool. Yeah. And, and I think also for us, right, thinking about what this means for people's brands, it's like, how do we get our community more involved and it not only feel like a, a money grab? Like a lot of these NFT projects have some people like run away with the profits and just leave their mm. community kind of left high and dry. Um, I was in one. I'm not going to say the name of the project, but it, it, it got quiet once it sold out. It got very really? quiet. Yes. Very wow. quiet. And this wasn't a cheap. Um, this wasn't a cheap one. Right. Because mm. like an average new one is about like 400, 500. Right. Mm -hmm. Unless there's a celebrity backing it. And then it's about a thousand, something like <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah, some little over. Right. Um, and then, boom, kind of like ghost and hush. So that with this one, with Nas's NFT, it doesn't even matter if no one's really talking in the community mm. or anything like that. We know we're going to mm -hmm. get money because of the smart contract. So when I'm, when I'm thinking about how can brands really uh, bring this to their table, it's like maybe if I drop uh, a new shirt and the, some of the profits go to that, like you get the shirt, but you also... As we go, you know, get a percentage of it, you know, because the community came up with the design. You got the NFT. Boom, boom, boom. That's an idea. Um, whether you have a new group membership, 
um, an event, something to that effect, right? Or, of course, anything that will continue to bring mailbox money, just like uh, streaming does. Or it could be real estate would would do very well with that, too, if you think about Mm it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 it, no. I, I think it's it's really interesting, and the fact that it's so seamless too. Mm-hmm. That you do it once, you as a creator, you don't have to do any maintenance to it. Like you said, with the community, well, you have to keep engaging in the community. But because this is going to engage on its own, meaning it's going to produce on its own, it's not like Nas has to do any sort of dialogue shortly thereafter. Like once he puts it out, that's it. It's a wrap. Yep. So yeah, that's a that's a that's a pretty cool idea. Did yeah. they announce who got it? Like, is there? I mean, there's ten. No, not ten thousand. Um, there were a certain amount. I forgot how many. There was there was like three tiers of each one. So, um, like for one of, I think it was for Ultra Black. They had like a gold, a platinum, and then like a VIP. And like the VIP one was like five G's or something like that. But like the first one was um, like a Discord community and, oh man, like something else. I forgot. The next one was like merch. And then the VIP one was like VIP tickets to this event an exclusive vinyl, a call with Hit Boy, and then everything else that the other people get. Yeah, and you get a higher percentage. Because understand, this is uh, 50% kind of broken into all the tokens that are there. So you don't get 50% because how does everybody get 50% of the song? Uh, you see what I'm okay, saying? Okay, got you. So, so it's like 50% divided up amongst the, yes. the people who purchased. Yes. Got it. And okay. so... If you get the higher tier, you get more royalties, right? But uh, everybody gets royalties. It's just divided up evenly depending on how, which tier that you got. So I thought that was genius, but I can't really remember how they broke it, like how many. But it is on, uh, for those who are interested it is on the aftermarket or the third party market, whatever they call it, OpenSea. Um, and if you want your chance to purchase it for a higher price, this is not this is resale now. This is resale. Uh, have at it. You know what I mean? Have at it. But oh wait, he said something. I didn't even mention it. Can we mention that real quick before I go? Yeah. Hello. What did Nas say about this project? I'm always looking for new and unique ways to connect with the people, said the Queens New York native in a statement. So I'm excited to partner with Royal, which is the platform that they had this NFT on, on their new endeavor in order for the world to connect with my music in a new way. So shout out to... um, Nas, Royal, especially for the sold out NFT, I wanted one. I wanted one. 